Oh. Hesitation. Oh, if that had hit, then Johanna would have gone. It was a good recovery from Gilchrist behind the stumps. Just that moment's hesitation. Fieldy's been sharp. One catch has gone down. But Gilchrist makes good ground. As always, a direct hit and it's trouble. But against England, particularly at Lords. Oh, big turn there, and it's well played by Johan. He waited for that, and the ball stood up for him. And Johan will come back for three. Move a point. It's a chance that goes down. Mark Wall, who is, uh, by all accounts, one of the finest slips fieldsmen in the world, came very quickly onto him. A little extra bounce, Yusuf Johanna, not being able to keep it down, went uh, very fast to first slip. Mark Wall not really been able to sack the ball early. Good shot. Play that very well indeed. Just drifted onto roundabout leg stump, hit through the line, kept his eye on the ball. That's uh, something to cheer about for Pakistan. They've reached the 100. Good shot from Yusuf Johanna, playing against the spin. Opened the body and uh, went through mid on and mid wicket. Played with a straightish bat, and that is uh, how he was successful in executing that shot. Just opened up a little bit left after this. And Pakistan will be harbouring thoughts of getting up towards 220. 151 for six. Single will bring up uh, Yusuf Yohana's 50. He wanted two, but he's uh, settling for a single. 50 from 71 balls. Just three fours. He's worked the ball around quite beautifully. Coming into his stride now, Yusuf Johanna. 60 balls. Oh, glorious shot through extra cover. That's run away for four as well. Beaten Mark War out there at long off. Could be the shot of the day. Brett Lee starting his ninth over now. The 200's up. Not a lot of cheer about earlier on in the Pakistanis. Certainly in much better mood at the moment. Almost seven overs to go. This could be a good total. Between Latif and Johanna. Beautiful shot. And I think that's going to go to the boundary again. It does. What an excellent piece of timing. This is Johanna. Looks in fine form. Well, earlier he drew one similar fashion was uh, probably considered the shot of the day this one is even better this is an absolutely great cricketing shot all along the ground to one of the fastest bowlers in world cricket look at that timing and placement it's whipped away and that could go for four as well this third man uh, sorry this final leg up is proving expensive well, I think the Australians have lost the script a little here. Not bowling to their field that you need to do in one day cricket. Oh. Well, there we go again. I wonder how long it before. Johanna on strike. Well, again, fine leg is up, and again it goes for four. Astonishing cricket from uh, the Australians. You normally don't uh, see that with uh, a professional team like theirs. 
McGrath a little short and on the leg stump. And you just simply can't bowl there to Yusuf Johanna, who's in extremely good touch here. Saying that. Tedged away. No, do they take it? They've got to take it, I feel. But they're only going to get one. So Shove's job now is to try and get one. So survive at least two deliveries and then maybe take a chance. Risk is uh, asking his partner, what is the plan? Well, we're going to take the single. If it hits, he's out. Oh, there's too much Glenn McGrath could do about that. <laughs> Self-preservation came in there. Well, I think uh, Glenn McGrath was hoping that he'd get behind the stumps for the return from uh, Ricky Ponting. Ricky Ponting, quick for the bowler. Quickly hurling the ball, getting rid of it quickly. And, uh, in no position, Glenn McGrath in the end, collect that one. Well, it's a big hit, but it's well caught. Very comfortably caught. Mark War, he doesn't drop too many, and the innings comes to an end. Show very nearly getting it over the boundary. Sifihana joking and smiling with him. You're probably saying to him, you're unlucky. Almost got there. It's pretty well struck by Schweb. And um, beautifully held by Mark Waugh. Made it look so easy. Rolling along and not uh, stepping the line. It's been one good innings from Yusuf Johanna. A great knock this has been. Good for, him, good for his team and also has put Pakistan in a position where they can force the issue in their favour. There's leave the pitch here in Cardiff. Let's have a look at the batting card for Pakistan. They won the toss, had no hesitation whatsoever in batting. Fakir Yunus.